In Singapore, hazardous chemicals are regulated under the Environmental Protection and Management Act EMPA, at every stage from procurement to storage, handling and disposal. They are controlled and licensed by four authorities, namely Ministry of Manpower, National Environment Agency, Singapore Civil Defence Force and Singapore Police Force. Users need to apply for license from relevant authority before they can buy and handle the specific hazardous chemical. Singapore follows the globally harmonized system of classification and labeling of chemicals, which is a communication system between chemical suppliers and users on hazard identification and communication. Chemical hazards are identified via GHS pictograms and subsequently communicated via SDS and chemical container labeling. So, what should you do if you are handling a hazardous chemical for the first time? Before you handle or use the chemical, always refer to the GHS label on the container and the safety data sheet of the chemical. Recall that the SDS is a 16-section standardized document issued by the chemical supplier for chemical users. In particular, Section 2 on Hazards Identification provides crucial information for safe handling of the chemical. First in terms of hazards, you would be able to know the type of hazards, may it be physical, health or environmental, based on the GHS pictograms. Remember there are nine pictograms and each chemical may be assigned one or more pictograms depending on the types of hazards it poses. From the hazard statements, you would be able to know the exact harms if you are exposed to the chemical. You should also take note of the signal word, which indicates the severity of the hazard. Recall that there are only two types of signal words. Danger indicates a more severe hazard than warning. The GHS label and SDS also provide the precautionary statements, which include safe handling methods such as protective gloves and eye protection, and emergency response measures required, for instance in the event of accidental chemical exposure. Now that you know the hazards and safe handling methods for this chemical, you can now transfer and store the chemical in smaller containers. How can you warn others about the hazards of this chemical? You should create and affix a GHS label on every container with this chemical. The GHS label is a standardized label that has to be affixed on all chemical containers. It should contain the chemical name, signal word, hazard statement, precautionary statement, supplementary information and supplier details. All this information can be obtained from the SDS of the chemical. For chemicals in volumes of 125 milliliters and above, GHS labels follow a minimum dimension based on the volume of the chemical container. Chemical containers of 125 milliliters and below are allowed to use reduced workplace label, which contains only the chemical name and GHS pictograms. This is a summary of what you have learned in this lesson. Do go on to attempt the quiz.